Howdy, everybody. We're out here on Trooper. This is a, a horse in for training. That's my son, Cody. It's another horse he's training. <clears throat> These are both really green uh, rookie, as you would say, trail horses. To my knowledge, this is the first trail ride this horse, Trooper, has ever been on. As you can see, he's uh, eyeing up the smorgasbord underneath of him. But what the mission is we're riding out here on a loose loose rain now potentially there's deer in this field the other day in the next field over we jumped up a turkey that came out and all these things are our possibilities right well in fact there is something that just went shooting my guess is a rabbit i don't think cooper saw it. but at any rate um if at any point in time my horse starts to get anxious and nervous we are going to use a one rein circling technique okay now we've taught this to him at home and in the arena. Now this is how we would enact it. So if you make believe here, we'll slide our hand down and I'm gonna ask this horse to bend and flex around my leg and my hand. Now, obviously this is a controlled situation. There's nothing scaring him. But I would do the same thing even if he wasn't scared, if he just started getting anxious, right? So I am riding with a loose rein, looped rein down there. And I'm asking him to just control his thoughts and emotions. If he gets anxious, if he gets tight, we're going to do the same thing. We could alternate flexing left and right. Doesn't really matter. But I'm asking him to just control his emotions. So more than likely, it's right before dark here. You guys can kind of see out here. Sun is over the ridge. More than likely, we're going to see deer. In fact, we already have seen one. More than likely, we're going to see other stimulus. In fact, the dogs are out riding with us somewhere out here in the brush. There's one over there. And they're going to see all that movement. But this is important to get horses to really learn to manage their emotions. If we don't ever ask anything from our horse, we can't be surprised when we get it. Right? So I've got to ask Trooper, hey, it's time to be a big boy now. It's time to... Start putting those things that you have learned into play. So, you see Cody is doing that with the mare he's riding. She got a little excited, so he's teaching her to think. There's Trooper a little bit. Got a little excited, and you notice he came right back down again. But it's still just a little late. We'll just practice a little flexing and bending. So, just a little riding tip. This is how I get horses to the point where at some point, Cody, let's go this way. This is how I get horses to the point where I can ride them on a loose rein. If we always pull on two reins, that just makes them more anxious. That's what our brain tells us to do. We think we have better control, but you actually have less, right? No human in the history of humans ever relaxed because someone told them to relax. And it's the same thought with horses. If you just pull on two reins, it's like you're telling that horse to relax. It never works with humans. It doesn't work with horses. So one rein gives that anxiety somewhere to go. Pulling on two reins just feeds it and makes it worse, right? That is the monster we do not want to feed. We want to starve that monster. See, there's even a deer bed. So that's a tip for today. Give that anxiety somewhere to go. Ride them on those loose reins. Teach them that they can think on their own. The more we clamp down, the more we make it worse. So, thanks for coming along on our ride. Until next time, ride that next stride. Make it a great day. See you down the trail.